I will now get back in my diving suit and ascend back to the surface and nothing bad will happen. Right? How the fuck am I going to get back up there? Oh. Whoa. I think you have the bends, sir. I don't know how the bends works. That was weird. The, 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 the balloons inflated and nothing happened. And then, like a rocket ship. I think he probably passed out from how fast he went up, but I don't know. I don't know, because, like, he's in a pressurized suit. So I don't know if the bends applies anymore. I think that might only be when you're free dive, when you're diving in just a, like a regular ass diving suit and you, all you have is air but no pressure assistance so I don't know still the rapid ascent from like the rapid ascent seemed to have affected his brain regardless I wouldn't want to be unconscious in that water uh we saw that he saw that giant thing and was like let's go deeper I can't sympathize with this character very well <laughs> like I can't relate to him as a, as a human being because he makes really baffling choices that I don't understand Wait, why, why am I here? I should have, I, they should have had me spawn down there on the docks or something. Like, why would I be here? I didn't take that hook back up. That's how I got down, but that hook's at the bottom of the ocean right now. And where's my diving suit? Like, I'm not even near the water, so like, this can't be where I arrived. I had to have, I had to have landed back down there on the dock. Weird. Huh. Alright. I guess I don't have to worry about anything happening on the way back. Okay. That's why I need to stop saying things ever. Okay, that's unexpected. Of all things you think might happen when you touch a creepy rock, uh, some kind of tentacly nightmare monstrosity burrowing into your hand that was not there at all is definitely a surprise. So, did any of that happen or was it all just visions again? That's going to be the struggle this character has, is trying to figure out which things he sees even actually happen or not. Because we're just kind of teleporting from place to place now. In an otherworldly sort of way. Now whenever we pass out from stuff like that from diving, we're, the question is like, is it, is it the Benz? Or is it Eldritch? Who knows? And it's a minor thing, but it is, an, it is a nitpick that I always want to voice is that like, don't, don't do that game. Don't, don't, if you're showing a big, an uh, important plot cutscene and stuff like that, don't, don't have the corner say, press spacebar to skip. I don't, it's one thing if I, if I press a button and you stop me from skipping the cutscene and then you show a prompt like this is how you can skip it if you want really want to but just in case we're le letting you not skip it by stopping you and showing you this prompt uh, that's what some games do is you'll just start pressing buttons and then and then on the bottom corner it'll suddenly say press this button to skip but this game every cutscene says how to skip it at all times and th I, there's a few games I played recently that do that I'm like no stop don't have a weird interface element on the screen during every cutscene. It just looks bad in every game that happens on. And it's way more common than I would think. 
Charles Reed. He died in 1994. <laughs> All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. That's... Although if we're nitpicking things, I guess that window should be open to justify the way that curtain's moving. Weird. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis brothers. All right, so we found our way back to the th back to here again. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. My diary, part two. The doctors at the Boston um, Boston Asylum were looking for a way to fix me. Proved to be a tall order. At first, they'd ask me questions. I thought my story would be reported to the officials, but they were just making a list of things to fix. I feared water, so they swaddled me in drenched sheets. I told them about the things in the darkness, so they kept me in dark rooms blindfolded. No progress, until they brought the electrodes. They kept my thoughts jumbled. Only the words of the doctor held my mind together. He told me that I, who I am and how to think, gave me concoctions to keep me sane. It seems I'm getting used to it. Question is, for better or for worse? Shit. That's my diary, right? This is my room? So... I've already gone through electroshock before even getting to this game? Oh boy, maybe that explains some of his behavior. All oh right, this is a thing. If I want to dress up all fancy-like. The game clearly has pre-rendered cutscenes though. And like I said before, I do, I think I do prefer his starting, his starting costume. I kind of like the detail that he has a backpack. He's like wandering around in. All seems in character and in universe that everything he has could be in there. Ah. There was stuff in there. I probably already explored it before, right? Ooh. Did did all of the loot respawn? Door won't budge. Every piece of loot actually might be might be back. There's the creepy, burned-looking painting. Somebody, somebody painted a picture of somebody covered in fire with the burning landscape, and like demonic ruin, demonic runes, which are also uh, covered in fire. And then they damaged the painting afterwards. Just to add an extra layer to the whole thing. Yeah, I... I'm sure I've been through all these rooms before, so I, I guess... Everything must respawn. The question is, does it respawn every time I play the game again? Every time I re-enter the building? Every time I proceed forward by another chapter? Or what? One way or another, that's like... Exploitable, I suppose. When I run out of resources, I can just kind of wander around old places and just get more... Which kind of, I don't know, potentially reduces the fidelity of the idea that they're even a limited resource to begin with. I guess the, the, the main limit then is just how much you can carry at a time, because that's how much you can deal with during a fight. Like that's all the stuff you can carry at once, plus all the stuff you can craft is the entirety of what you can have during a fight, basically. Lore. Documents. Yeah. Just clearing those out. The irony, right? Water coming from above. No escape. Look at the fucking za. That's not supposed to be that big. That's a real creature that exists in real life. That kind of crab. But it's I don't think they get quite that big. They get real big, but I don't know about that. Ah.
Honestly, of all the things in the ocean, that's one of the less freaky ones. If anything, there's just part of me that has the kind of arachnophobic response to it, because it's very spidery. Ah, ten legs, huh? Yeah, it does have ten legs, or four legs and two arms, or however you want to count it. I don't know. I don't imagine it's an especially dangerous creature. But I don't know. Could be. Don't know how strong those pincers are, but I don't know if they really go after people so much anyway. I'm watching you, newcomer. Anything that walks on the ground is less scary than all the things that don't, conceptually. There doesn't have to be a logic to it. That's not how that's not how phobias work. I'm watching you, newcomer. Well, I just went into your back room and stole from you. To my dear nephew, my dear Victor, how is Oakmont treating you? Should you require any support, the Blackwoods will be happy to help you. I have arranged for that. Regardless, uh, regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went, sadly. Only that he did not stay in Innsmouth. Perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid. Take care of the hotel, please. Plenty of our relatives will be uh, were interested in the property, but you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Portia. Just stealing. I'm just stealing things. Personal personal notes between people? Mine. Not even like I have a record, a copy of in my records or anything like that of my mind palace. It's like, no, I'm physically taking it and it's mine now. You don't get to have it. Take that, dearest nephew. To Walter. Walter, K help you. If I hear you're peddling your cheap, affordable living again, I could live with you renting out beast-ridden flop houses, but you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market, and I have dangerous people living here, and I can send after you. You've been warned, Vic. Vic's a nasty boy. Goes after anybody else trying to sell property, I guess? Or rent property? I'm sweeping in the rain. Sweeping in the rain. I like the suggestion that anyone's trying to keep this place clean at all. Like, y'all are, are losing this war. There's a few subtle hints that it's not going to pan out the way you're hoping. Uh, but the L ship is new. Click, click. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I would like to visit... Yeah. I need to visit Throgmorton's Manor. As we expected. Uh, probably by going there. So I'm gonna be walking most of the way there, but... This is a little closer. It skips the next little piece of water, at least. Now what I'm hoping... Or expecting is that this will be the cleanest, fanciest, nicest looking place in the entire goddamn town. And if it's not, I'm going to be disappointed in this guy for for just not repping his city. Oh, there are compass directions on the compass. They're just really small and gray. So I wasn't noticing them. There's north. That's helpful. I was having trouble orienting myself because I didn't think that there was compass directions. But it actually does say them. So that helps me. When I memorize a path, I can follow it better now. Look at that walk speed. Now that is a cultist with an agenda. He has a busy schedule and you, do, you should not be wasting his time. We've got some Colton to do. Remember when I hit the guy with a shovel and he shot me with his shotgun? Good times. Glip. What are those tracks of? They almost look like tire tracks, but this is... That's the ocean. And also you can't drive this direction because it'd go into the wall. I don't know. Nice asset. Maybe misplaced. Maybe it shouldn't be here, right here. But the... The mud tracks look nice. But the suggestion is that they're fresh. And so if they don't mesh with the local geometries, 
then how could there be fresh tracks? All right, how nice is Throgmortonsville? Well, he's clearly put on a stage play of a bunch of people acting natural around me, so that they're like, oh, yes, this is a nice place. And then, whoa, that guy just disappeared when I t Ah, ah, they're doing the Elizabeth Bioshock thing where they tell they're weeping angeling everywhere. <laughs> that guy walked right past me and then I turned around and he wasn't there. That is terrifying. And she's gone. No, she's not. Ah, well. Where'd you, you weren't there, were you? Ah! Oh, no, yeah, I think you were there. That guy was there. I'm just screwing around a little bit. But they definitely do that. They definitely do the Elizabeth Bioshock thing where they just... They're tricking you. the tricksy. Three people? Nope. It's hard, it's hard to make it happen. Because... It doesn't automatically- it doesn't happen every time you look away or anything. This- it's not like... Not- well, I won't say a game, because I'd be spoiling it. Because I almost mentioned a game where it's actually a mechanic and not just a technical happenstance. Well, things seem... Misty in here. There's a fireplace. Probably rules out one idea. I was thinking that they're gonna do the Lovecraft thing where, like, this guy really likes to keep it cold in here. He's a big fan of air conditioners. Because there's a weird mist in here. But then there's a fire going, which would kind of contradict that plan a little bit. Ah, you got dirty floors, dude. Gotta say, I'm not that impressed. Also, you're a book burner. Or at least you keep damp messed up books next to your fireplaces? Oh. Your frequent fireplaces. Now you're just showing off with all your fireplaces. You can take a close, a close look at the ape statues. As he just stomps on that dude. It's an ape holding some kind of saucer while standing on top of reef and a dude. No, the reef, that's the reef growing to take over the statue. Yeah, he's normally just a guy standing. And the saucer looks like it's like a, like a brazier or something. Like it's just supposed to be a place that you'd have a, a fire going in for a light. I think that's the goal. No. Yeah, the mortician has touched him up well. Albert Throgmorton Arbituary. In loving memory, Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton, and descendant of a robust bloodline, died on Thursday at Oakman Port, aged 25 years. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. The Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words and prayers sent by the citizens of Oakmont. No, don't steal the obituary, you lunatic, you madman. How could you do such a thing? Oh, there you are. Did you move on me? Bad news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are dead, and the Innsmouthers kidnapped the professor. Those degenerates, they dare get in my way. The Innsmouthers were there to kidnap Professor Doe. They took her and the artifact she found, and they left the others to die. Artifact? What artifact? Where did you find them? Tell me everything. Your men found some kind of underwater temple. In it was an ancient artifact. The Innsmouthers call it the Seal. The Innsmouthers were lying in wait. Your men took the item, and the Innsmouthers took their chance and made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. How did they catch them off guard? Seems that after the Seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that and waited for the right moment. They... 
They knew what was going to happen. Inconceivable. Wait a moment, how did you know they were Innsmouthers? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Have a good day. Here's the advance for your investigation. Several items that you cannot carry. <laughs> it's why I find myself wishing that they just used money in this game. A little bit. Because, like, at any given moment, your payment for something could be... Like, you don't know what it's going to be in advance, and it could easily be a category of thing that you can't even carry more of, and then, therefore, you just don't get a reward beyond any experience progress you make. <clears throat> Speaking of which, we got another knowledge point. I got the inventory upgrade last time. Chance to save materials when you craft things. Then an increased one, so you ultimately get like a 1 in 5 chance of just not using materials. I think it's time to get more... some other types of upgrades though. Set traps quickly. Increased bomb range. Hmm. <clears throat> this is my entire tree of weapon damage upgrades and stuff like that. One of the best things we have to go on, basically, right? Oh, yeah, and the ability to carry more ammo. Yeah. That makes a fair bit of sense too, especially if ammo is our currency. We have multiple incentives to be able to carry more, actually. Let's go for this guy. My lore. They want me to find the woman that was kidnapped, but on a side task, where's Glover gone? Mr. Throckmorton asked me to find out what happened with Herbert Glover, a collector of fine arts. He lives on Gold Bridge Road in Central Old Grove. His house is situated between Windhalf Wind and Century Avenue. Central Old Grove. Where is Old Grove? Oh, we're already in Old Grove. On Gold Bridge. There we go. Uh, between Wind Half and Century. There we go. Yeah, he's like up the street from here. How about we go take a look-see? 
I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, I'm going to walk around and loot your house real quick. No big deal. Finders keepers. Ha <laughs> ha. Not as much luck as you might hope for, actually. But as the sanity creeps further away, I start hearing whispers. Whispers from the deep. The dark. The door won't budge. Hi. Whoa. What? The border's getting weird. No. You do not, in fact, seem capable of taking anything around here. Just a fancy place. He's got another fireplace? Dude. Another fireplace? What in the world? He has at least four fireplaces in a building that's like three rooms, technically. Like, it's not... There's not that much to this place, and yet infinite fire fireplaces. Okay. See this guy? He, he look at how much he stands out with that suit and everything. I keep seeing characters like that, and I'm like, it's an NPC. He has a quest for me, or cut, or some kind of text. But no. It's, it's just a densely populated area with a bunch of people running around. This happens to me a lot in the Yakuza too, where I'm like, oh, is that guy want to talk? Does that guy want to talk to me? And then I bump into them like, excuse me. And then they start auto pathing around. And I'm like, oh, you're just a random NPC. I have made a mistake. I believe I need to cut cut across. Well, this is a relatively large chunk of, of not particularly broken up territory. It's almost vaguely pleasant, but there's some, there's still signs of decay and bad news here and there. And, uh, I'm guessing nobody drives their cars anymore. Even here, where there is a bunch of continuous road for like a fair number of blocks. Uh, I don't think that anybody is driving. I imagine because this is a disconnected island that didn't couldn't receive aid during the, the storm and stuff like that, they probably couldn't uh, get any fuel here. Now the next question is which house does he actually live in? The hobo signs, they'll rescue me. Yep. Oh, it's a, that's almost invisible. I think that's how you find it. Yep. Herbert Glover's Manor. Alright, well we can cancel you out. We'll just take a swell look around. And rob him blind.